Hello, my name is Marco Marcia. I'm Professor of International Relations of the University of Padua and the UNESCO Chair in Human Rights, Democracy and Peace. My reflection focuses on the need to redefine the concept of European citizenship, starting from the paradigm of human rights that the European Union has introduced with the European Union Charter of Fundamental Rights. Charter that, it is important to underline, with the Treaty of Lisbon has assumed the same legal value of the treaties. The thesis I advance is that if the European Union is founded on human rights, then European citizenship must also be founded on human rights and not on membership of a member state. Historically, the institution of citizenship is linked to the event of the modern state built on national sovereignty and the centrality of borders. They are the state that grant national citizenship with a dual attitude of exclusion to the outside world and of collective identification within around the symbols of national history and institutions. But the perspectives on the matter is changed in the light of the extensive processes of change that take place on the planet, from the globalization of the economy to planetary interdependence, from the displacement of population to multiculturalization of societies, from the internationalization of human rights to the development of regional integration processes. In particular, the processes of international legal recognition of human rights and European integration help us to reflect on the need to rethink the concept of citizenship. The first provides the ethical legal paradigm on which citizenship must be founded, constitute the roots of citizenship whose original subject is the human being. With the advent of international law of human rights, the institution of citizenship is called upon to diversify and to enrich itself to pluralize. The European integration process indicates the real space for the exercise of citizenship, the supranational European one a constituent context where more and more decisions are made and where the need for democratic legitimacy and participation is strong. The European Union Charter of Fundamental Rights is one of the last offsprings of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights and is linked to the wider process of international recognition of human rights, which started at the end of the Second World War, when the international community committed themselves to developing new ethic and legal basis for international system. The European Union Charter is both a conquest and a starting point for future developments for an even better foundation of European Union citizenship. The Treaty of European Union states that, I quote, every person holding the nationality of a member state shall be a citizen of the Union. Citizenship of the Union shall be additional to and not replace national citizens. Citizenship. The significance of this article is that European Union citizenship is not for a person, but a citizen, someone who is already a citizen of a member state. Its foundation is not based on fundamental rights, but on being on the national registry. European Union citizenship is therefore a secondary citizenship. This seems to contradict what is set out in, art in Article 18 of the Treaty on the, fun on the functioning of the European Union, which reads, within the scope of application of the treaties, any discrimination on grounds of nationality shall be prohibited. Article 19 completed this picture, committing European Union institutions to combat any further forms of discrimination. In these two provisions, 
there are clear references to the principle of non-discrimination, that is the principle of use cogens. As is well known, the European Union Charter of Fundamental Rights dedicated Title V to citizens' rights. The provisions of the Charter now refer to individual or person and now to citizen. The distinction or discrimination concerning the owner of fundamental political rights reserved for European Union citizens, notably those specifically dedicated to European Union citizenship. Clearly, there is a similarity with the exclusionary logic of nationality citizenships. In the preamble of the Charter, it is stated that the Union places the individual at the heart of his activities by establishing the citizenship of the Union and by creating an area of freedom, security and justice. It is noteworthy that the reference here is to individual and not to citizens. The Article 3 is dedicated to right to integrity of the person. Article 6 states that everyone has the right to liberty and security of person. Article 26 is dedicated to integration of person with disabilities. Finally, Article 41 states that every person has the right to have his or her affairs handled in partiality, fairly, and within a reasonable time by the institutions, bodies, offices and agencies of the Union. In all other articles, the reference is always to citizens. Despite the fact that Article 21 of the European Union Charter which has the same content of Article 18 of the Treaty of the Functioning of the European Union, states that within the scope of application of the treaties, any discrimination grounds of nationality shall be prohibited. In the following articles of the Chapter 5, the distinction of citizenship returns. Given that the European Union Charter with the Lisbon Treaty has become a legal human rights instrument, the subject of references would be expected to be always and only individual. After ensuring coherence and psychological sustainability of the innovative institution of European citizenship, it would be desirable for the European institution to initiate a process of rethinking on the matter with the objective of establishing a plural and inclusive citizenship based on the paradigm of all human rights for all.